Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I'm back. So some of you know me as the person who did a lot of book reviews. We're changing it up a little bit on here. That's not to say that I won't be doing any book reviews in the future because knowing myself, I'll probably want to do that. But for now, it's gonna be about creative process, creativity, art, painting, and all that juicy stuff. So stay tuned because you're in for a lovely ride. So tonight, I want to transfer this cute little sketch that I did onto my wooden board here. And I've gotten into collecting wood from antique stores and vintage stores and um, just repurposing it. But this one's actually a piece I got at Michael's for a very, very cheap and expensive piece of um, already pre-painted or pre-gessoed, I should say, canvas. So why not? And I'll flip my phone so that you can follow along. I mean, it's nice to see me, but at least this way you'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm literally just going to copy what I have on here to my canvas. And the reason I'm demonstrating this, you'll see, I have a special technique that I'd love to share eventually. And it's probably going to be in the future clip. I don't know if I can fit it in today, but if not, it'll be in a future one for sure. So this is a California pelican that I'm transferring here and I've never really seen so many pelicans up close and personal up until I got here so literally I'm copying but I'm not really being picky about my sketch because even my sketch is like not true to the original bird it's just a capture that I did as I was just sitting at the beach watching them flying by. And I just wanna put a sun here. So I'll just draw a circle. As best as I can. And now is my favorite part because I'll start painting. And I have a few paint colors on my palette. I need to grab a couple of brushes. And some paint thinner. I usually use um, a nice paint thinner here just to, because these are oils that I'm using. I'll share my paint thinner. It's this one, Yamsol. This dude. So they're 100% minerals, pure mineral spirits is what they are. Let's see what happens next. So this is what it looks like so far, and I'll probably be adding a few more things once it dries up. This is my first layer, 
is considered. And um, okay, for the second painting, which is my favorite way to paint, I'm going to use this round canvas. Although I've actually sworn off buying any more of those, but it's one of those ones that I had um, purchased previously because if it it was so inexpensive, two dollars and ninety nine cents, you can't beat that. I guess sometimes we make exceptions, except that I know that I won't be purchasing any more of these canvases. This is the last one that I'll ever have. So for this next painting, it's going to be um, in the style that I love to paint, which is very uh, energetic, free flowing. And I have a sketch here and I'll share with you. So this is my energetic take on um, Pelican. <laughs> very different than the previous one. So let's see. And I'm gonna use acrylics just because I also have those and I wanna try and finish them up, but also because it's easier for me. I like to just dip into the container itself. And for acrylics, we use water, not mineral spirits. So also it's important to thin it out and I'm gonna skip the step where I transfer it with a pencil on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use free-flowing painting movements and copy my painting to fit into this circular space. So here it goes. And I'm not doing this on a speed because of the nature of the painting. It's very flowy and I want you to see how I allow it to just flow. Now, in other circumstances, when I'm not demonstrating anything, I would literally paint this instead of on my sketchbook pad, I would paint it on the canvas itself. But that's just how cuckoo I am. Some people might not be that cuckoo with their art. <laughs> and also, I don't have to stick to the initial one that I did. There could be variations, especially when I'm transferring. Um, other movements might happen, and I just allow that brush to do that. So this is this is gonna be um, instead of my pencil sketch. Okay, and. Now I just go in with the colors that I'm drawn to. And I have pink here that I wanna put. And of course, um, acrylics dry faster than oils. That's one thing to keep in mind, depending on what project you're doing. And if you're in a hurry for the layers to dry acrylics is a good idea except that i personally am wanting to shift into more natural pigment so like i said i'm just trying to use up whatever i have on hand so i don't waste it and throw it out because i already have it so mm. And here we go. I just literally play with the colors. This is my take on a pelican. It's a very uh, different way to conceive of a pelican, but what it is is just capturing the essence of that being. And like I said, it's my favorite way to paint. So I'll be quiet now and just flow with this a little bit. Maybe I'll add some music to the video. We'll see.
So I don't know if people are already starting to see a pelican emerge here. I know I am. Um, that's the nice thing about this way of painting is you don't have to stick to the actual image of a pelican. You just capture whatever energies you perceive in, in a pelican. And this is my capture for now. And I'll probably add a few more layers later and I'll be sure to post the end result. Oh, and also I forgot that I also do art interviews on here. So if you're an artist and are interested in being interviewed, please get in touch with me. And if you'd like to see other kinds of content about creativity and art making, let me know. Um, please follow and like and see you later.